Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We're here with Arwen today, who's slowly waking up from a nap, and Shadowfax, who doesn't want to wake up from his nap yet. <laughs> and today we're going to talk a little bit about goat hierarchy. Now, we only have the one goat right now. We have had more goats at once in the past, and we are going to get more next year. Don't step on his tail. That's rude. That's rude. Now you're pooping on his tail. That's so rude. Rudest little goat. Anyway, we used to have more goats at a time, and we are going to have more again later. But when you have a group of goats, they have a specific hierarchy. Now, if your group has other animals in it, so in this case we have a horse and a goat, the hierarchy will work a little bit differently. But if you have a herd of goats, it actually works in a very specific way. So even though goats were domesticated about 10,000 years ago, they still have a lot of their wild instincts. Okay, they still have... <laughs> She's deciding she's going to just die. Not a real die. Chicken. <laughs> Another chicken. Yeah. You guys are chicken butt heads. That's right. Chicken butt heads. Anyway. So they still have an awful lot of their original instincts. So like most animals, goats have a pecking order. Okay. There will be a top goat that eats when he wants, sleeps when he wants, exists when he wants, he does whatever he wants, and you can't do anything about it. Hi, big boy. So there is a top goat. The goat that's second in charge defers to that top goat. And then it goes down the line, each goat having its own place in the goat hierarchy. Okay, so if you're not the king, maybe you're the prince. If you're not the prince, you might be a duke kind of thing. So I'm going to go back to laying down. It's a hot day. It's a hot one today. Hi, Shadowfax. So there is a hierarchy, and it kind of is one goat after the other. In the wild or in very large herds, there will probably be a herd king and a herd queen. In a smaller herd, there's usually only one of those, and it's probably a queen, to be honest. Sometimes you'll have a herd king, but generally if you have a small herd and there's only one goat in charge, it's going to be a female. The queen will reign until she's either passed on or until she's basically too infirm to do the job anymore. She is well respected, rarely challenged, and she tends to be that wise old lady that we all want to listen to anyway. She shows the herd what to eat and what not to eat. So she'll sample a new plant that no one's ever eaten before and she'll either munch on it happily and therefore all the other goats will eat it. Or she'll kind of make a big production out of spitting it out, sputtering, wiping her mouth on the ground, that kind of thing. Do not chomp my arm, Mr. Arm Chomper. It's Arm Chomper right there. Anyway, so she will make a big production out of it. Like, she'll be incredibly dramatic. Not just because she's a goat, but to impress upon the younger goats that this is something we do not eat. So if she tastes something and it's nasty, she is very clear with the younger goats, do not eat this. Because a larger goat can handle more toxins than a smaller goat. So that smaller goat needs to absolutely understand that they need to follow the queen's lead. And they do. They typically know. If she spits it out, don't eat it. So there's not typically a lot of fighting in an established herd of goats. They tend to know who's in charge, who the queen is, and they kind of just let it go. They just, they're not real, you know, they don't challenge the authority very often. Most of the time, they just kind of chill out once they know who's in charge. There could be some fighting if you introduce a, a newcomer. Usually that fighting is one-on-one. -on -one. Goats, don't, goats don't really team up. They don't gang up on a new member. They might line up <laughs> to take on the new member one at a time, but it's always one-on-one -on -one to teach the newcomer where he belongs in the pecking order. They, there will be some scuffling, but again, it's usually one-on-one. -on -one. You might see the fluffing of the coat or the raising of the hackles when they're, you know, challenging each other. You might see some stamping feet, some pushing. You might see rushing. There might be threatening and there might be actual headbutting. Now, unlike sheep, goats don't typically back up and ram each other. Instead, they actually typically kind of rear up on their hind legs and come crashing down on each other. If you've never seen it, it can be... A little bit unsettling because we're like, what the heck? But it's normal for goats. It's kind of how they fight. Even if they're just kind of playing, they might just rear up and smash heads or 
smash onto each other's back. It's pretty normal with goats. They don't tend to, you know, back up and ram at each other. Sheep are more likely to do that. Goats, they like to get up. <laughs> they like to jump up and come down on each other. It's kind of what they do. If you spend time with your goats, you will notice who the queen is. So go out there, pay a lot of attention to your herd, and you'll notice who they defer to. You want to convince that queen to respect and follow you. If you can convince the queen that you're worth respecting and following, then you will absolutely convince the herd because they'll just do what she does. But do it gently. The queen does not respect force. Goats don't respect force. They respect gentleness, they respect firmness, but they don't respect force. So be gentle and don't try to interfere in the hierarchy of your goats. Don't try to say, well, I don't really want that one to be the queen. I want a different one. That's not the way it works. They decide. And once they decide on a queen, unless she's ill or unless she dies, that's just the way it is. That's the queen. And when she does pass on or she can no longer do what she's supposed to do, then usually there will be a struggle for power for a little bit. But ultimately, it's often her daughter who takes her place. They're pretty respectful of the hierarchy once they've established it. So don't try to mess with it. Don't challenge it. Don't try to reorder your goats. They've made the decision. You're going to have to work with whoever their queen is. Because if you can get the queen to listen to you, the rest of the herd will follow suit. So do respect the hierarchy. And make sure you spend time with your goats. It's a good idea to get to know who's who. That's about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. Good luck with your goats. We'll see you tomorrow.